Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we've got another room sort of transformation video. It's not the most drastic transformation you've ever seen. However, since I did my last kind of room transformation video of my filming room, I had a lot of requests from you guys to do that for another room of the house and the next one that I've done is the bedroom and it's not quite 100% done however I wanted to upload this video this week because I was struggling a bit with content if you guys follow my Instagram you would have seen that I've had like a big eczema flare up all around my eyes so I've just decided that for the whole of this week I'm not going to put any makeup on because I can't really put makeup on my eyes right now because they're really sore and itchy right now I've got a bit of tinted moisturizer and concealer on the rest of my face but my eyes are really sore so I hope you enjoy it and I'm sure I'll update you in like future vlogs and stuff like that okay let's get into it Okay, so this is what the bedroom currently looks like. We walk in and there is washing all over the bed, which is obviously not part of the transformation. But today is the day that I'm sorting out the washing, so I'm sorry about that. But I just wanted to get a before clip because I think I'm about to change the duvet over as the first step of this transformation. So we're not going to do anything about the carpet for now. I would love to eventually switch out the carpets for like a laminate flooring, but at the moment um, that's just like too big of a project and replacing like the entire floor especially of the whole house is going to be really expensive so we're leaving the carpet for now so this is what the room looks like as a whole obviously we've got our bed already um which was the first thing that we got when we moved in and built this is from arista living i still have my discount code with them which is i'll put it on the screen they did very kindly gift this bed um i will link their website down below it's just got two drawers on either side and you can kind of like build your own bed but i mentioned that in a previous vlog oh and a lot of people were asking in my vlogs why there's so many doors i've just got all my dressing gowns on the back of this door so that's the door that goes out into the hallway this is actually wardrobes um so at the moment in here i've just got like a chest of drawers in here still need to sort out this side but it does go all the way through there was like a diy kind of shoe rack thing that i've disassembled but for now it's just sitting in here so we've got some storage up there which i can't reach and then this door which to be honest i think is in a pretty inconvenient place because when i eventually do get a bedside table instead of an upside down cardboard box um it kind of i don't know it doesn't open very far which is a bit frustrating i feel like they maybe should have just got rid of this bit of wall here and just had a door more over this side i don't know or maybe even sliding doors would be better one day i'd love to like change this whole wardrobe area but for now we're gonna leave it so i've just got my clothes hanging in here james has got his clothes in a different room um the wall has got quite a few like marks on it which obviously we're gonna cover i think i'm just gonna paint this room white um then we have a big blind over here we still don't have any curtains so that needs to be sorted i also need to polyfiller in these holes in the wall and then here i've got the ikea unit which i built the other day and then this is just a a little bathroom so yeah this is the before all right so step one is to paint i wouldn't normally put a full face of makeup on when i'm painting but i was taking some other content earlier in the day it's a little bit more tricky because the bed is already in the room so i've had to like push it out from the wall as far as it will kind of go but i've covered the back of the bed like the headboard in a sheet so that i hopefully don't get any paint on it and um and i think i'm just going to be super super careful around the bed this time i'm learning from my mistakes So it's 10 o'clock in the evening now. I've done one coat on like the whole back wall, which is obviously what I need to get done first so that we can put the bed back against it. And then I'll have to do like the rest of the room tomorrow. But a spider has just crawled in through the window and is crawling on my wet paint. I don't know how to get this off without like disturbing every like stuff. What am I supposed to do about this? Like, um, 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 oh, it's running away from me. I can't do it. Oh my god, go away. Go away. I know it's only tiny, but I'm not a spider fan. Oh, I don't want to bend down in case it jumps on my head. Okay, this is working. Oh god. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Crap. Get out the window. Get out of that window. <laughs> okay. A 
few inches later. Two coats have been done on the back wall. Now that I've painted the walls, it's made the wardrobe doors look really yellow and, well, I mean, because they were cream originally anyway. But I think I want to paint them, but I don't have any gloss paint or, like, satin paint because this one is matte. And also as well, I think I want to paint these bits. What is this even called? Like a... It's not a skirting ball because that's a bit down the bottom. I don't even know. Um, But, like, a border, I guess. Might paint those eventually once I've got some gloss paint. But for now, I have the satisfying job of slowly peeling off the tape, which when I was doing my filming room transformation, I did not even put any tape on there. So I would highly recommend doing that and not just thinking you'll be able to do it neatly because you probably won't. And, and I think the people that painted this last didn't do that either. Oops, okay, well that's not perfect, is it? But I think it's better than if I'd have just left it. Oh my god, wow, my face is so oily. So I think I'm just gonna go shower this off, give myself a good scrub. I'm kind of tempted to build our bedside tables because I don't really want to have to put all my stuff back on this upside down box. Um, however, it is actually... Come on, it's nearly midnight, so do I actually have enough time and can I actually be bothered to do that right now? I'm not really sure. Maybe, we'll see. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> So it's actually a few days later now. I did finish building the bedside tables until about two in the morning the other day. Um, I will show you them once everything is all put together nicely. I have put them in the room for now, but I want to like tidy everything before I show you. But it is another evening of painting. We were painting earlier during the day um, and have done most of the room now. I do need to do a second coat on some of this bit. I haven't done like the rest of this wall here and I haven't done this wall. So most of the room is done. Obviously at the moment this has been moved down to the middle just so that I can get back here, which actually this does look a bit yellow on camera, but I promise that this is white. So I'm hoping, what is the time actually? It is 11.15, okay, maybe tonight is a bit ambitious. I was gonna hopefully try and do the rest of the room this evening. Well, to be fair, like most days I go to sleep at like two or three anyway, so it's, it's doable. And eventually I do wanna get some different handles just cause all these handles look the same. So these handles are the same as the door handle and the bathroom handle, like the main door handle, but they're pointless because this just opens with like a magnet sort of thing. So you don't even need a handle. There's no reason for this to do that. Um, and also I'm not too keen on the silver. So I think what eventually I wanna do is paint these white and replace the handles with something gold. That would be my personal preference, but we'll see. So this is where I'm up to with the room. The walls have all been painted. I've hung my dressing gowns back on the door. I haven't done the doors just because I don't have the paint at the moment. Um, but for now, I think, to be honest, they don't look too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So I've put the duvet on, as you can see. Um, this was actually from Next. It's got these little like tassels on it. I think this was like 30 pounds. And then we did end up getting a king size duvet finally, which we didn't have before. So these are the drawers that I built the other day from Dunelm. I've just like shoved a load of random stuff in here at the moment. They were actually really easy to do. It probably took me like 20 minutes per drawer to build. So these were from Dunelm. These were actually very kindly gifted to us. Um, and Dunham also very kindly gifted us the curtains, which I'm about to put up in a minute. But I think they look really cute. And obviously we've got the matching pair. They just have the wooden legs and then two drawers, which are actually pretty nicely sized. So you can fit quite a lot in them. And I just think that they look really nice with the rest of the room. I will leave everything linked down below, like, you know, the duvet cover, the mattress, the drawers, the accessories. Those are what the bedside tables are looking like so far. Obviously this wall is currently very blank. So I think today's mission is to try and dress this up a bit. I do have a shelf that I wanna put up and also I've got some cool mirrors that like stick on the wall. And I got some lights that go behind the bed so you can like change the vibe of the whole room, which seemed pretty cool. Oh, and then these plants, well, fake plants. These were just from Ikea and same with the plant pots. We did actually go to Ikea the other day because they are now open. These mirrors I actually got on at 
Etsy and I think they do them in black as well. I was expecting them to be like a bit nicer quality to be honest and the reason I went for them on Etsy is because they do sell these on like Wish and AliExpress but I thought that the ones I was getting on Etsy were different and I thought they would be better quality and it did say that they were coming from the UK but then when I ordered them I got a message from the seller saying that it's going to take a little bit longer because they're coming from China which I thought was a bit sneaky um, because it did say in the original description on Etsy that they would be here within a few days but you know what it's okay I still think they're going to look pretty cute once I've peeled off the obviously like the, the sticky stuff so I think my next task is to put the curtain roll back on and put the curtains up these are apparently blackout noise reducing curtains, so we will see how good they work. Ooh, oh, I don't know whether I should iron them. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm doing this all by myself, it's because James is at work. But he has been helping me on his days off, so it's all good. Oh no, this is where I think I need his help. Uh. Okay. Okay, yep, they definitely need an iron. If you compare these curtains to these blinds we are going to be sleeping so much better but wow they need ironing i would do that in a bit we'll leave that for now next i am going to tackle these mirrors actually i think the best thing to do measure the wall so that i can get them perfectly central and because i have a feeling that the bed isn't quite perfectly central then we can always move the bed over <laughs> this is also going to be difficult by myself you know what i guess i can just measure the floor um, so I realised after sticking that on that I think it was a bit too low, so I've just peeled it off and I'm going to try and stick it on a bit higher. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm not taking it off a second time. Yeah, that looks much better. So the mirrors are up. I've just got to take off the um, sticky plastic, which I feel like is going to be really, really satisfying. Right, so I've taken the stickers off the mirrors, and I do think they look cool, but I'm really disappointed in that, can you see, they are literally like fun house mirrors. But the next thing I got, I'm really excited for, these are some LED lights, which I'm going to put behind the headboard of the bed, I think, if I can kind of figure out how to work it. And you can change them to whatever colour you want. I got these on Amazon for like £15, but yeah, the remote has got all the different colours on it. So there is green, pink, purple, blue, yellow, red, um... So I'm hoping that these are going to work. I'm going to look this up on YouTube. I'm going to figure it out and then I'll show you. So obviously I'm not going to do the red, but let's try. Oh, that is so cool. Wait, let me turn the light off. Okay, I think I need to fix this bit to the bed a bit more. Yeah, so it like isn't kind of dangling because at the moment um, I've just attached it to the headboard. So I used a few of the hooks that came with it and just kind of stuck them on. But how cool is that? One eternity later. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap them all the way up to where they go. You know what, it might Don't even be. it, whack it. So we just screwed in all the shelf, like the, um, the bit that goes in the wall, and then we realized that we did it upside down. So we're now having to unscrew it and do it again. Okay, now we just slide this bad boy on. Woo! So, are you ready for the final reveal? We still don't have any lamps and we don't have any like bits of art to put on the wall yet, but it is a lot better than it was looking like before, in my opinion anyway. Ta-da! So, James actually ironed the curtains for me. I haven't actually done the blind behind the window just to like let a bit of light in, um, because otherwise it would be like really dark in here. But, this is the final bedroom. Hang on, these pillows are a bit wonky and it's really annoying me. I think it looks really cute. I think we still need a bit more colour, like it's still quite white but it's pretty simplistic and i like it so the actual shelf oh my god you can see me like reflected in that mirror so the actual shelf was from ikea i think it was only like 12 pounds and all of the decorations up here and the plant pots and everything were from ikea the candle holder as well my cushion covers these ones are from ebay i think and then i just have some like random cushions that are inside them then for now i've left the wardrobe doors just looking like this and i actually don't mind them now i think the contrast looks okay like they don't look too bad and then obviously over this side we've just got our chest of drawers um and the tv and everything and that is the finished bedroom wait i've just realized i forgot the best part 
Ta-da! And you can change it so it's like any colour. There's green, which I think looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, by the way, yesterday, which was Thursday, was the first day that I could actually put some makeup on. My eyes are so much better. They're still a little bit dry. I'm not really sure I want to whisk, risk wearing like heavy eye makeup on them. Um, but they are so much better today, thank goodness. But I'm pretty damn happy with the outcome. Like, I think it looks really nice. Although it's pretty simple so far, like we will get some pieces of art and stuff maybe to go on the sides. And also I want to put a bit of art on this wall. And obviously like we want to get some lamps and stuff. I'm thinking some like black sort of industrial type lamps. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any more room, room transformation videos, let me know. Um, because there is still the lounge that needs doing, uh, but I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to film a lot of that because James's family is going to help us with it. But yeah, I hope you guys are all doing good, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!